Musicians and DJs, how much should you charge for a private event gig? Now I'm talking anything from a backyard barbecue to a formal wedding. I get this question all the time, so I figured this would be helpful information for you guys. So I'm sharing it here. The fees I'm going to discuss are baseline or minimum fees. And this applies to anywhere in the US, regardless if you're just starting out or you've been performing your whole life. Next, I'm gonna break it up into three categories. The solo act, the DJ, and the band. Okay, here we go. Number one, the solo act, $500. That should be your minimum fee. And that's for performing up to four hours. Anything over four hours would be considered overtime. But three hours is actually pretty typical. And it could be less. It could be one hour. It could be a cocktail hour. Or it could be something as short as a proposal gig. All right, number two, DJs. Musicians, cover your ears for this. Because DJs command more money than solo acts. Don't shoot the messenger. DJs, $750, $750 should be your minimum fee. And the same time frame applies here, up to four hours of performing. And number three, last, we have bands. Now, this is tricky because your band could be just two people or it could be 12. So typically, the band leader or the music director is going to make more for all the responsibilities they have. But a good baseline for other musicians should be $100 per hour. Okay, let's look at an example. If we have a four-piece band playing for four hours, then three of those musicians are going to make 400 a piece. Okay, so that's 1,200. And then the band leader will probably make double, so let's say 800. So 1,200 plus eight, we've got $2,000 for a four-piece band for four hours. Now, I don't care where you live in the US, if a potential client says they can't afford or don't wanna spend these minimum fees I mentioned, then they're just not realistic about the cost of live entertainment. Regardless of what market you're in, you're always gonna have tire kickers and cheapskates. So just move on because most clients will not push back on these fees that I've mentioned. In fact, you can charge a lot more once you're in high demand. The fees that I'm mentioning, again, they're baseline minimum fees, reasonable prices for any performer doing private event gigs. All right, and I'm also gonna link articles from Wedding Wire, which is a subscription service for vendors who service weddings. So they have a lot of great data on the average costs of vendors for weddings, and that includes bands and DJs. So you can see that in the link down below. And last, if you found this insightful, then please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.